is going to be a little bit different from my other videos that I put up. This specifically is going to go through the step-by-step -step framework that I use with my clients in the Boundless Blueprint. And I really go into my energy management model. That is the underlying model that I use for basically all of my services. And the Balance Blueprint is no different. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so this step-by-step -step training is really for those who are feeling super burnt out right now and you're working your nine to five job and you're kind of like going in and out and just being super zombie about it. So if you wanna change that, it's time to really learn to manage your energy and not exactly your time. This is the way that you can create more joy, you can create more ease in your life. And we can do that within 90 days using my energy management model. So the two folks that you see here, you can actually click on their YouTubes. Um, I'll link it in the bottom of the description and actually hear their story of how they worked with me and what changes happened. So we'll have Diana and you can click on that link there. Or you also have Jessica who shifted her approach specifically for just this work and what that looks like now for her. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to show you what energy management can do for you. And this is really, truly, I believe, the precursor to making these huge changes in your life, right? And before we get into it, hi, I'm Todd. And really, my place here is to guide you on reframing how you just look at time, reframing how you look at the way you move in and out of life from an energy perspective. And before that, I spent a huge part of my career in ad tech and I felt miserable, just like you. If you're feeling miserable, again, this is like your video. If you're good, cool, like go, have fun at your work. Um, but if you're not, minding your energy and minding my energy was the way that I created these changes for myself. All right. So this training and the energy management model is specifically for you. And this ties back to my program that I do as well, which is the Boundless Blueprint. And this is for you if you are literally having the Sunday scaries, you literally hate waking up to going to work. You just want to stay in bed all day. Um, this is also for you if you want more personal control in your life and being able to manage, again, the ups and downs of life in a more even keeled way. And also, this is for you if you're really lost on how you can get that feeling back of the zest and the vitality in your life. This and the, the program that I have is not for you if you're not willing to make any changes in your current lifestyle. So you need to put in the work. Um, I will be there for you. I am. I love being a guide. I love holding your hand. I love this process to seeing the changes that happens um, to my clients. Um, this is not for you if you're not ready to commit. And it's okay. If you're not in the space to commit, then it's okay. Now is not the time. And this is not for you if you don't uh, believe in the chi aspect. You don't believe in energy. You don't believe in feng shui. And it's totally okay if you don't believe in that stuff. But a lot of my practices and ritual are informed by those things. It's informed by chi. It's informed by just universal life force. Also, it's combined with the practicality and the tools that I've had throughout my years of working in ad tech and as a manager and managing, you know, lots of teams from different time zones. And then here's the, the truth with everything. You can start living that easy, balanced life. And you can be that even killed person that no matter what happens to you, you're able to really be a rock star in handling it. And you don't have to do it alone. This is why I built some of the programs. Um, and then you'll kind of hear, if you're watching either Diana's or Jessica's story, you kind of hear where I come in, how I help guide and consult um, in their journey. So most people don't do this because they don't understand how to manage their energy. They don't understand when to leverage the right tools and practices and rituals for certain things and at the right time. And the other thing is like a lot of people don't self-access or gain a self-awareness of themselves. And so they oftentimes don't make the changes that they want to because they're afraid of something. And so that really comes into play as well. But in today's training, I'm not going to let that happen to you, right? So. There's no such thing as not having enough time or being too busy to adjust all these little parts of your life so that you can manage your energy and invite the wave of blessings and change or invite in the things that actually 
nourishes you, that actually uplifts you. It doesn't have to be a specific hobby. It could also be people, family and friends and loved ones. They make a huge difference as well in terms of what I, what I call energy management. These are nourishing activities. And you can build a sustainable and flexible structure for yourself. You're not going to be the same person today. And you're not going to be the same person that you were. You're not going to be the same person in 10 years. So making these structures, oftentimes I hear people like, I don't like structure. It holds me down. And these are just like structures, but they're not hard and defined at all times. Different seasons of your life means different ways you need to structure your life to manage it, right? And so I don't want people to think like, I have to stick to this all the time. No, because you're not in that season of your life. You're not in, like, for example, if you're a college student, it's totally different than if you were um, a mom of two. And then you can't achieve this every single day, um, just being you. Um, and then you can also live your passion. You can also have your passion um, or your hobbies and you can monetize your passion if you want to. And if that's something that you want, that's something that I love to help with because I also do have an Etsy store that I run on the side too, which is really fun for me. And if you want that person to be you, that even keeled, that balanced, that harmonious person, I'll show you exactly how to tackle the energy issue, how to navigate various cycles of your life, and how my clients' positive emotions improved and increased the amount of time and hours dedicated to the things they really want to do with their life. And they're inviting in that energy of abundance. Okay. And so I kind of told you a little bit about myself earlier. This is just a little bit more. A former Amazon employee. I left my job in 2018. I have an Etsy store and I sell locally at small pop-ups. And I work now in spaces that really align with my values. I'm self-employed. Um, and now I help other people do the same. And so the, this is a little, a few pictures of me. All right. And so the balance blueprint is what I created. And it's a 90-day one-on-one program that uses my energy management model. This is informed by so many other different practices and cultural practices that I have. Um, so this is a way that I can still move forward, but also still be truly grounded and be in my body and be rooted. And this is what it looks like. So if you can imagine your energy as just water, if you don't have the right structure in place, it can overflow. And it really, what ends up happening is that there's a lot of energy there that has nowhere to go. And so oftentimes this is like us, we panic, we go into these modes where we go into high hyper anxiety. We also are overwhelmed. So what we want to do is create the structure, as you can see on the photo in the right. And these structures allow your energy to really flow. And when I talk about energy, I look at it and I'm going to explain this a little bit. Like it's your energy and also the energy that is around you. And we allow things to flow. So suddenly we're now building a garden, right? And that those are your hopes, your dreams, things you want. That's ease and harmony right there in front of you. And so I'll show you in the next few slides of what that looks like. All right. So the energy management model that I use is a certain way. There, It's a pyramid and I'll show you in the next step. The way that I take people through that cycle is... A three part. It it has the RPM is the acronym for it. It's reassess, plan and go, and modify. Now, the three phases of changes like is implemented with energy management model that so that you can manage your energy better and start really feeling more balanced. And this is what it looks like. So the energy management model. So this is the whole concept here. And like anything, it's very simple, but it's actually harder to do in person. So energy management is the foundation of our entire work together. And really, it's a space that we can, when cultivated, it can truly provide that big impact, right? And so at the bottom of this is managing our energy. So there's the energy of self. This is, if you can imagine yourself, like, Oftentimes, if you're doing so much, you're down, your energy is low. But if you're nourished, your energy is super high and you're strong and you can make decisions quicker. You can see things clear. You're less foggy. The other, the other energy management is that of your environment. So your environment, this is a little bit harder 
to adjust. But if you look at your space, even the home that you're in right now, take a look at if there are clutter, are you able to kind of move in and out? Does it present that spaciousness for you? Does it present that flow and that chi that's positive? Or is it super cluttered? And that's like really impacting you and how you move in the world, right? You want to move like this where you're free and you're moving from a space of inspiration rather than just like kind of muffled and and trying to figure out what to do. Once that's kind of done, you move up and you start identifying your own values and goals. Like what is driving you? And this is connected to your North Star. This is your why. And everyone has a different why. And for a lot of people, society has told us what our why is, but is it, is it society? Is it, is it from our family or is this truly us? So this is where we also dig in really deeply to those beliefs. And then finally, all the time and project management are just methods and tools that can help you to process to get to these goals. This is what I call more of the grounded state. This is more of um, processes and framework and tools that can help you get there. Okay, so the reassessment. When we first work with our clients, with Diana and also with Jessica, we do a chronotype assessment. So really looking at our natural predis- like biological predispositions. Now, these are two different folks, and they actually have two different animals. We call them animals based on Dr. Bruce's um, biological predispositions called the chronotypes. Sorry, my voice is like, I'm still recovering from a cough, so I apologize for that. Um, So Diana is a lion. Basically, she's an early bird. Jessica is what we call bears. I'm also a bear too. So bears are pretty much 50% of the workforce and it requires and it looks differently. So the way that Diana gets up is very different than the way Jessica gets up. And the way that they do certain tasks or have certain practices and rituals is oftentimes dependent on their optimal times. And then we also did... um, a self-assessment as well. We looked at their weekly routines. We're just assessing every points in their life. So even with the level 10, we're looking at other dimensions in their life from financial, from partnership, from friendships and relationships, from career, for money, like all these different things come into play and they really do have an impact because those are different energies too. And then we also take a look at their home environment. Minus Jessica, Jessica's at the very beginning of this one we didn't have this available at that time. So we look at the home environment. How is that impacting your environment? Is your environment conducive to really uplifting you or is it not conducive and it's actually detracting from your energy? After that, we begin to start putting a clear plan of action together based on what we know, right? So we first, we put um, a plan that looks at the areas of change. And for some of, or actually for this is for Diana, um, Jessica was a little different too. We looked at identity and authenticity. Like these are the changes that needed to happen. So that, and her goal was literally to build out her own creative practice. And so we had to look, how do we shift these things so that you can actually get to a point where you launch your uh, creative studio, her atelier, basically. And so we look at that. We look at the relationship. We look at the career, career transition. What do we need to do? Where's the gap? We're looking at the home environment. What needs to change? We're looking at self-care. This is really big, too, self-care and personal needs. How do we get you that that energy to go up, especially if you want to start something new while you have a nine to five job, your energy has, just like an elite athlete, it needs to be on top of its game. Like you have to be a little bit more disciplined in this time frame when you have a job, but you also want to create something. So we want to make sure that she's creating and it's in a way that is conducive, that she's effective at work, but also effective in her creation. Um, Yeah, and we basically reworked the day-to-day schedule to make sure that she is in another way to say it, optimizing her energy. 
And then with Jessica, it's a lot different too with her plan of action. You had to put in the plan also conducive to her family too, because um, when you have children involved, things look a little bit differently. Now, Diana again is a a lion, so lion early bird. So that's why most of her energy comes into the morning. So this is a time where she wanted to really hone in on her spiritual practice. She wanted to use that energy to really strengthen that groundedness, that that spiritualness of hers. And so in the morning, that's one of the first things that she jumps into. So concentrate on those practices, making sure that it's electronic free. Um, even when she's listening to her music at home, first thing in the morning. We didn't use the phone because it's, it was a huge distraction. So instead we opted for the iPad, which was less distraction and she could still hear the music that she wanted to um, for her practice. And then, so it's like we hone in and then for her, most lines kind of dip down starting later. So the nourishing time was actually her commute back home. This is where we had to re-energize her again. And then also with her socialization for dinners that also re-energized her for the later half or the later part of the day where then she would concentrate on her sewing and her business. And now Jessica was a lot different. Jessica and I'm a lion too. We have a very slow ramp up to the day and it's okay. I think for a lot of people, including myself, like we feel guilty that we can't get up early in the morning and, you know, get at them. Um, and that's okay. So in working with that, we built a schedule for her that was like from low energy. And then finally we build up to the point where then it's like, okay, now it's go time. And that's absolutely okay. And so having a slow ramp up time is okay too. Oh, let me just go back. Ah, keeps going. <clears throat> All right. And the third phase of things is modifying. So once we have the plan of action, this is where we see what happens. So with anything, when you put put it into play, you'll start having enough experiences that can inform you of how to adjust. So modification is always key to this, right? It is not a strict protocol. This is like, hey, we're going to adjust this adjust it here. Once we adjust the knobs, how do you feel? Oh, it doesn't feel real. Turn up more of this in the morning. Maybe don't wake up as early. Maybe we need to work on our, our winding down time and making sure that our body gets into that state. So it's a lot of modification. Um, and if you notice actually for, and this is for both Diana and Jessica, who are very spiritual. So it's super important that first thing in the morning for them is when it is really gathering that specific time and ritual for their practice. This is how they strengthen their energy. This is how they strengthen their aura. This is how they strengthen the ability to hone in and do their practice. And so that once they're done with it, they can walk into the world really strong. And so Basically here for the modification stage, we're here to create the conditions ultimately for the change. Like things don't change overnight. So you have to make all these tiny adjustments. And I think for a lot of clients and just a lot of people in general, that is the hardest part. What is the right formula? And so this is where we really hone in and really make it a point. This is where they prioritize those changes in their environments. So basically this is my program and it helps you really restructure a strong foundation of your day to day. And it's designed to give you the tools and the framework to ultimately, I want you to drive your own success. Like I don't want you to be reliant on me. Yes. For the balance blueprint, I will be with you and I will teach you and I will guide you in whatever way so that you can begin to understand what your energy level is and when to implement certain things. So now that you understand exactly how this framework works, I do have an offer for you. So if you're overwhelmed, busy professional, and you're really not offering or you're not honoring your passion or your joys 
or just any hobbies that you're doing. And if you're constantly really feeling sad and disconnected and numb feeling, and you're now ready to move forward, like you're tired of being tired and you're ready to build this strong foundation and pursue these healthy alignments, and you're ready to literally wake up excited about the day, excited about the project that you have going on, excited about spending that time with a specific person or spending time like reading your book, like whatever it is, like I will help you overhaul your day-to-day structure so that you can make room for those things. You can make room for your passion project. You can make room for your side hustle. You can make room of any endeavors. And you get to do all of this without doing it by yourself in nine days using the energy management model. So if that sounds good, I would love to hop on a call with you. The booking information is below. And so in this booking call, we'll see if we're a good fit. The booking link is in the description box below, all right? And so I hope this was helpful. I hope you now understand kind of how to manage your energy and not your time. I hope you found that valuable. And if you're looking to overhaul your day-to-day because you're not feeling the way you know you should be, vibrant and excited for life, and there is something that you want to strive for, book a call with me and let's see if we're the right fit for the balance blueprint. Here, we're wanting to overhaul your entire life so that you can set up to achieve those goals that I know you can do, all right? So link is in the description box. I hope to see y'all.